Welcome to Enjoying Life, a program of music, chatter, and friends designed to put a refreshing moment in your day. Now, please welcome your award-winning hosts, Dr. Jerry and Little Jan. I love coming over with you. I love, I love it too. Oh, I love coming over with you. You know, for people that uh, that know gospel music as a part of which is part of our life, uh, wherever you are listening across America or around the world, really. Uh, that voice that you hear is Paul Heil. Paul Heil. Paul Heil is the host of Gospel Greats, Great. which has been the number one radio gospel show for many, many years. Many years, yes. It's heard around the world. The Armed Forces Network carries it, as well yes. as many 200 stations or more. So we're just uh, excited. And the, music, and the music is Jeff Stice. Yeah, and, and Jeff Stice wrote that uh, theme song. When they asked us to do the show, Enjoying Life, we said, we got to get Jeff to write us well, the theme. That's right, and he did. Yeah, good. I, and I like it. It's got piccolo, and it's got the tuba, boom, boom, boom. I like all that stuff. Do you like that? I do. I like you. Oh, uh, well, I like you, too. And we're glad you're viewing with us. And the name of the program tells it all, Enjoy Life. Our motto is take Christ as your partner and enjoy, enjoy life. life. We hope that you are. You know, the book says, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. And I think you need to take Christ as your partner and enjoy life. Attitude. Well, we usually start this program by singing. Yeah. Uh, my sweetheart wrote this song and uh, of all the songs that she's ever written, and she's had a lot of songs and number one songs, uh, one was number one in country at the same time as number one in gospel. That's pretty, pretty. pretty walk around with Jesus. Walk around with Jesus. Mm -hmm. But probably if you listen to serious radio, which you can hear coast to coast, you will hear this song by her as much as any song that she's ever written, and we're proud of it. So I guess that we can sing it. Let's, Let's sing it. it. It's on my mother's side, and I know you'll enjoy it. Listen as little Jan sings. Chosen for Mary when searching three days the sun they had raised.
We'll see you in a minute. Well, we're back, and we're excited about our guest today. We, we always are, aren't we? Oh, yes. I don't we know, have some you know, I don't know how other people, but we just love our friends. Well, and I, that's what I, yes. Paul set out to be in the show, a program of friends and chattering music. That's right. Paul Heil, you're Paul speaking Heil up. Paul Heil, speaking up. Yeah. Let's tell him who's here today. Oh, and you know what? How long have you been knowing this guy? Oh, All a his long life? time. A long time. You I, don't want to say? Because he's well, white-headed. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how well, long. Well, our special guest today is Todd and Rhonda Neela. We're glad you're here. Yes. Glad you're here. Thank you. And for people that know who you are, uh, they recognize the name very readily. For people that don't know that your background has been in gospel music through your dad. Right. Rex Rex Neelan. One, one, one of my bestest, bestest friend in the whole wide world. Well, I, that's a pretty strong statement. Oh, oh he was. He was. Rex yes. was, uh, he was kind of quiet, but he was, he was powerful. He was you know, good at, he was good at choosing songs, and we talked yeah. about that with best. Kelly, but I didn't talk too much, Jerry did, and but, so <laughs> I'll take this moment and say that, you know, Rex was so good, and he worked with Wendy Bagwell and the Sunlighters right. in getting good songs. That's where some of our good songs he came from. He loved the songs. Yes, he did. Yes, he well, did. Well, we're glad you all are here. Yes, And we we'll are. get to that part, too. Because uh, did you ever, do you have any memory of when your da dad wasn't singing? I guess not, or did you? No, because he was always with the Lefevers. Yes. You know, so that's what I grew up around. And you down at Lefevre sing, yeah. Lefevre sound. Yeah. That's a so, long time ago, Todd. Who was that first group he sang with up in Asheville? Well, he first started out with a group called the Friendly Five. And the then Friendly moved, Five? Yeah, and then moved to Homeland Harmony. Home, that's one I remember, Homeland that's Harmony. That's who I yeah. remember. Yeah. That was a famous uh, quartet in its day. Right. Yeah. Well, have you been uh, always been a singer? This is Rhonda. This is Rhonda. No, I haven't. I mean, I sing at church. Uh -huh. I, I sing at, in school. Uh-huh. But... Uh, not at all. But you're singing now. I am you, singing. Right? Did y'all ever travel and sing? You know, I've seen you in concert and you were a trio, right? Right. We do have a trio. Uh -huh. The Todd Neeland Trio. The Todd Neeland Trio? Yeah. Did do you do y'all ever, I mean, go far and wide or do you mostly sing two or three states around? Two or three states around. We don't travel very well, they far. They still have kids we and do. they yes. are very active in school. That's true. Is we that three? Um, How many us, children do you have? We have three. Tell and, us what their names. Uh, uh, Jordan is our son. He's the oldest. And how old is he? He is 23. Wow. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're doing good, Ron. <laughs> My goodness. He is. He's Ooh. 23. And then our daughter, Ashley, is uh, 19. And then we have a 17-year-old daughter, Shelby. Shelby's oh. the one uh, 17, 19, involved 23. in school, isn't oh, yeah. she? She is. She she's plays. A, she, well, she's a competition cheerleader. Yes. And uh, A so, competition cheerleader. Now, what does that mean, Rhonda? Well, uh, they they cheer in competitions. Oh, I've uh, seen they, that on TV. Yeah, they tumble. They just got back from state um, last weekend. They came in fifth in state. So they oh, did very in well. the whole state of Georgia? Yes. Isn't that fantastic? Yes. And she learned most of it from me. That's oh, well. right. They <laughs> practice. You fall down, she tumbles. That's well, it. there's not much difference. You know, they just do it by plan. That's you know. right. But, yeah. Todd, but Todd is a good cheerleader. I, I know that. <laughs> yeah, and along with everything else, you're also now your minister of music, aren't you? Yes. About nine months ago, I... I was asked to join Sweetwater Baptist Church, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and it's just been a wonderful journey. Uh -huh. I never thought I would be doing that, to be honest with you, but God had other plans. Well, you know, I remember when you traveled with your dad, you know, nationally, and mm -hmm. played, yes. didn't you play the bass? bass. Played bass. Play, did you sing? Yes, yes I did. did. And you sang too? I don't remember that too much. <laughs> I remember Kelly singing always. Yeah, back when, when, uh, we have really first started, I did, and I played bass most of the time. It was really near the end, especially uh -huh. like when Karen Peck, uh, she left. Uh -huh. That's when I really had to step up uh -huh. and sing more. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then would, have you ever considered a national ministry? I mean, I know that uh, when your dad was alive, that was true, but have you ever considered that? Well, what I did, I came off the road for like, I guess the reasons a lot of people do. I wanted to be with my kids. Yes. Now, when it was all said and done, the kids would probably say you could go back on the road because <laughs> when I get involved, I get involved 120 percent. Oh, do you? Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, so I, I've loved, even though I love gospel music, uh -huh. and it's it'll always be part of my life, always. Uh -huh. yeah. But I will never 
take anything for those those years. I got but to coach Jordan your, in base, yeah. baseball really? and just, you know, watch oh. my daughter go through high school as a four-year letterman in golf. Yeah. My goodness, isn't that fantastic? Yeah, so isn't that great? It's just been, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And Rhonda yeah. loved it, too. Oh, I did. Yeah, yes, I did. I it was a little difficult at first, getting used to him being For him to be at home, home all the time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I remember when my dad retired, which means he was staying home. Mom said she had twice as much husband and half as much money. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, you, you know, and that may be true. Well, let me ask for you both of you. Uh, apart from singing and apart from the ministry of the church, and, of course, you're a business lady as well, what do you and your family or do you all personally do to enjoy life? Do you go to the mountain? Do you go to the beach? Do you cook out? What do you do? Well... I have always wanted to do the, uh, what do you call yeah, that? It's, you know, it's like the, where they move the cows and things, like a cowboy thing. They never would do that with me. They wouldn't do, every time we go somewhere, it's got to be the beach. Oh, to go really? to Dude Ranch. Dude he Ranch. That was it. <laughs> dude Ranch. I would love that. That would be so awesome. Oh, well, that's and, a, you'd like to go to a Dude Ranch? I would love to. Oh, yeah. But she won't go. He's the only one. The rest of us enjoy yeah. the beach. So oh, that's why we usually end up. Ride the horses and so forth? Yeah. I, you know how, I mean, y'all know, remember, Dad, he loved John Wayne so much. Uh -huh. I do, too. I wanted to be John Wayne. So. You want to be a cowboy. That's it. You want to be a cowboy. <laughs> Rhonda, you, you, know, would make, you would make a great cowgirl. You know, well. put that hat on, and I see you got boots on today, so, you know, just put on some cow, cowgirl boots. When did you, when did y'all start singing together? How, after you married or later in? No, it was after we married. Uh, uh, I wasn't singing before we married, but we did meet at a concert. We met at the oh, Albert E. Bramley Oh, concert Albert E. Bramley Springdale. concert? That's where I'm from, Springdale. For people that know me, Albert E. Bramley Road, I'll fly away yeah. and any other the gospel Rhonda Rhonda is from Springfield, Missouri. Springdale, uh, Arkansas. Spring yeah. Arkansas. Oh, Springdale, Arkansas. Yeah. That's where we used to have the Albert E. Bramley singing. That's where in we In the met. rodeo arena. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, we'd have eight, ten, twelve thousand 12,000 people it in that arena. It was a huge concert. Yeah. Yeah. And it seemed like it all Always, always. See them? They're shaking their heads. Yes, it rains every always. year. Every year. I mean, you were up to your knees in, in mud. Do yes. you remember when you came in from the back? There was a bar that came across. I hit my head on it and busted my head open. Oh, oh, you remember yeah. that? I remember. Oh, that I remember bar. that bar. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was there, and the mud out there in that arena, <laughs> and people sit out there. It was amazing. It was amazing. That, that amazed me more than anything. How they that would they sit would out there sit and stay there. Yeah, mm -hmm. stay there. Well, and they you couldn't know, get out because they were so deep in mud. <laughs> <laughs> one time, one time we were singing out there, the, uh, this is true, and the Blackwoods were singing and James Blackwood got excited singing, you know, and he wanted to get out where the audience was. And so he never stopped singing. He sat down, took his shoes and socks off, rolled up his pants leg and waited in the mud out there but singing. Uh, Isn't that something? What a memory. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever sing there? No, no. You just met him there? I did. I just met him there. Did, was there any problem moving to Atlanta? Well, a little. Yeah. <laughs> All my family still lives there. So. They still live in Springdale. Wow. Well, wow. Th but now that means that you have somewhere to go every year two or three True. times. You can take yeah. a trip. Uh, mm -hmm. Do your family, does your family like to go with you when you go to the mountains and to, be, to the beach? Well, um, sometimes we meet each other there, but um, usually it's just the five of us. Is anyone of them married? Um, your children? Uh, my children, no. 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 So you're not a grandma yet. Oh, no. Huh? no. Okay. Well, Jan is, Jan's our great-grandmother. Oh, like my me. goodness. Yeah. So she doesn't like me to talk about age, and I won't well, say anything about it. But you know, tell. you can't Thank be a great-grandmother without being around a while, you know. <laughs> well, we're just so excited you all here. He tries to put me up there, Todd, with his, his age. <laughs> I know. I know. You know. Well, she's not far behind, but not right. She's not on my heels, but uh, <laughs> it's all right. Age is just a number. That's but true. boy, that number makes a difference as you get older. I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know how much time we got left. How much time we got left for on this little thing? Got one minute. Let me tell you a quick story. Okay. Her little great granddaughter came up to me the other day and she said, Papa Jerry, I can count to 20 all by myself. She thought that was a big number, you know. So I said, Well, do that, Emily. So <laughs> Emily counted to 20. And, you know, that was a big number. And I bragged on her. And she started to leave. She said, How old are you, Papa Jerry? And I said, Well, I'm 80. She said, Did you start at one? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm glad it's time to go because you'd use that against me. I know you would. 
Well, they're going to sing for us, and uh, they got a couple of songs. Sing. Didn't I walk on water? Would y'all get your mics and go over there in Absolutely. position? Absolutely. And we're just excited that you're here, and we're looking forward to hearing you sing. And here is uh, Todd and Rhonda Nealon, and they're singing a song, Didn't I Walk on Water? Let's it's enjoy it. Such as I to suffer shame and such disgrace on Mount Calvary take my place. Then I asked myself this question. Who am I? Who am I that a king would bleed and die 
Wow, What's we're enjoying our special guest today, we are. aren't we, huh? Rhonda is a terrific singer. And so and is Todd. Todd. You know, he hadn't lost a thing. I, you know, <laughs> sometimes when you don't do it like you used to every weekend, every weekend, every, what do you do? Now you've got Minister of Music. Yeah, you do it every week. Don't Actually, you? now I do more than I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> well, that statement didn't hold water. I'll tell you. Good. And, and, you know, that was that's just really good. Who really? picks your songs? Well, usually Todd does. Well, that's sort of it. His dad was, oh, well, she's exactly. already mentioned that, but he was just <laughs> terrific, yeah. Do you write songs? No, I don't. Do you write? I wrote one song, and Dad sang me the song that it was to the tune of. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like Greg. Right. That's a good time. That was the end of that. <laughs> He had a real good sense of humor, yes, dry, he but he was a great sense of humor. I've sung with Rex Nealon, coast to coast, and border to border. You know how we, how groups meet at concerts all the time. You'll be with these three or four groups this night, and tomorrow night you're with three or four different groups, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was so much fun. And it's just so good to have you all here, and would you come back sometime? Certainly. You're anytime. not far away. We'd no. love to have you. And do you produce a... Uh, uh, you know, like your dad did in the studio? Do you produce groups? I haven't done a whole lot of that lately. I've, the past year's been mostly with the church. Yeah. With the church, But they're yeah. really enjoying you over there because we get word from uh, some of the members over there. Yeah, yeah they're some of the a, sweetest people. They are good people. They really are. They, Do they you are. produce, uh, like, Christmas programs and cantatas? Yes, we have a cantata that? coming up on the 13th. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. Well, that would be yeah. great. That would be, be good. fun. Do you sing in his cantata? Oh, I do. Oh, do you? Yes. Does he have to make you sing, or do you enjoy doing it? <laughs> I enjoy doing it. Sometimes <laughs> husband do. and wives, you know, they're not quite that <laughs> compatible. No, we are. We're best friends. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we're glad to have that's other like, best friends on this program, That's like you and I. We're best friends Aren't we? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, know, you guys for when coming. When you live be with us. your best friend, you can't beat that. That's I'll tell true. You. Well, we'd love to hear from you. Post Office Box 50, Powder Springs, Georgia, is the uh, address for the show Enjoying Life. 30127, and that's Powder Springs, Georgia. Or you can uh, listen to us on www.watc.tv if you want to stream it. Or if you want to with an email. Boy, I tell you all these addresses. Isn't this something? But I'm glad I don't have to remember it. I can read it. Enjoying life with Jerry and Jan uh, at gmail.com. And today we're enjoying life with Todd and Rhonda Nealon. We really are. Thank you for being with <laughs> Thank us. Thank you for being And enjoyed your singing, too. Very, yes, very good. Very good. And we'll keep in touch, okay? Wonderful. All right, all you folks, thanks for tuning in with us. Stay with us and uh, call a friend when it's on the air and let them know. Say, get on the air with us and enjoy. Enjoy life with Dr. Jerry and Little Jan, and we're excited that you're a part of our day. God bless you.